All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Space Scavenger. It is top-down terror tech as a roguelite, and also uh, in space. I don't really know. It looks super cute. I've been playing terror tech lately. Oh, okay, twin stick shooter. Scan all planets. Got it. Oh, it's got gravity. That's gonna throw me off so hard. Okay, swap weapons with one and two. I guess the other thing I could describe it as would be like maybe Nimbinatus. But that was okay. So can I actually play the game? Cool. That was just the tutorial. Tutorial is basic. But yeah, it's one of those build your own ship kind of games. But as a roguelike and some other things. Okay, so we got a sh Ow? Oh. Planets apparently have grubbins. Okay, so we gotta worry about the grubbins. Luckily, we do start with this. Okay, so I've gotta destroy that. Looks like it did not have any new parts. Bust this guy up. Grab the things. I'm sure there's gotta be some means for me to buy or build stuff later. Wait, maybe there is. No. Oh, there's gravity. That was gonna pull me into the rock, and I got very spooked for a second. Well, I like this music. Ah! So one thing I will say, I kind of wish it was a little bit more zoomed out, considering uh, how easy it is for me to just kind of side slide into oblivion. Though it does look like we heal some somehow, so it's not so bad. Mainly, I also just need a better gun. Okay. So luckily, yeah, we got the lasers, and it looks like every time I grab a part or scan a planet, maybe, or both. That we, uh, can I break these? No, I can't. Anytime I grab a part or scan a planet, it looks like it heals me a little bit. Hey. Okay, now I've got a. Now I can actually aim it in the right direction. Doesn't look like I have to worry about power limitations. Why is this trash world? Those are probably lighthouses, but they look like traffic cones. Well, this is. This is charming. I like this. Okay, grab that. I want to look around though. There we go. That doesn't heal me. Maybe going through the portals heals me a little bit. Anything else around here? Not seeing much. How do I have... Oh, nope. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have any speed boosters. Oh, and I do actually have a limited amount of power. Because my, my one laser will run out. Artillery-type weapons go further. Alright. Cool. 
This is charming. I'm not sure if it's going to get to the level of, like, Nova Drift here, but for, like, a, a quick little, like, you know, build your own ship using this scrap that you pick up as you go along, not bad. And it controls a lot easier than most of them. I I really wanted to like Nimbatus. Nimbatus? Whatever it is. But I just could not fly in that game. I just crashed into everything and I just kind of lost it. I'm sure there are people that absolutely adored the game. No parts? Hmm. I was under the impression that that would actually give me one. Ah! Oh, interesting. So this one actually gave me radar of the entire environment and tells me where all my enemies are. That gets me a small engine. Okay, so a fair bit faster now. Gets me another laser. that these lasers seem to be incapable of rotation or like flipping like I can only have them in that direction well I guess we're just gonna be uh, old lefty here okay there's at least one ranged guy up in this that's fine. I grab a little bit more armor. Stick it on my butt. I don't know what that th this thing is. But it gives me the Hebrews and the Jeebers. Alright, let's skip the warp for a second. We've got a, at least one more of these ships around. Anything else? Yes. Giving them resources. So here's a question. Nope, I have no idea. Let's see, sometimes you don't get the weapons you want. Improvise. Rule, words to live by. Okay, try and get rid of shoot beasts. Grab those. I wish it would actually tell me what I get every time I scan one of those planets. Because the radar is obvious and the parts are obvious. But I get super confused when I get nothing out of the planet. I'm like, did I miss something? I don't see it. Soundtrack is very outrun. Which I'm pretty, I'm pretty down with. Any, any good, like, Outrun soundtrack, it might not necessarily fit the game, but it's at least nice to listen to, which I think makes a massive difference. Okay, stay away from you. I'd, I'm betting there's gonna be a boss at some point. Alright, we get another laser. Seriously? I'm gonna just put it there for the time being. We have so much cargo. And not a whole lot of time to mess around. Nor do we have a whole lot of slots.
This would explain why there's so many dudes. Oops. Okay, that's how we get out of here, but let's let's look around for a little bit. I bet there's there's better stuff than what I've got. Seriously? Nothing? Alright. Give me that. So I got six crystally bits. Oh, hmm. Maybe we'll get a shop, or maybe the, that's kind of the um, meta progression for this game, is that you collect, like, rock resources. Right. If I press E, time pauses, and I can take a drink. And figure out what I'm going to do with this ship. I can also recycle things. I just wish I understood how to shape it better for this. Okay, well clearly this ain't gonna work. Okay, so I'm gonna do this. At least for now. We are a gangly beast. And this does not surprise. Uh, I'm gonna put this back in storage. I'm gonna see if I can get another block. I guess we, we have another block that I could loop around. Yeah, the laser is absolutely facing the wrong way. Or do you mean my ship? Ooh, shop. Hey. Rocket launcher, body, machine gun, rapid laser. I'm digging the idea of the machine gun. Let's see, so if I recycle some of these, how much space, how much money could I get? Because I'm not using this. I'm barely using this. So we could get another body block. Or we could get the rapid laser. Let's get the rapid laser. Okay, so that costs money money to repair. We don't really need. Okay, this should be fine. It really feels like the gun should be able to switch from left to right. Though I get the feeling that's why they don't, to force you to adapt and come up with weird builds. Okay, so I'm a fair bit faster. I look I look like a goofy potamus. But it does look like we we're getting some decent bits. And I can zip around decently well. Let's see, is there anything fancy in any of these rocks? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so bad news bears. Okay, so it's a two-way engine. So bad news appears, the machine gun has limited ammo. But it can destroy rocks. So we 
want to be a little leery of that. Okay, we get a decent amount, so it's not so bad. Is that a timer? Okay, we got a rocket launcher. Recycle that, get this, recycle this. Grab the rocket launcher. So we kind of needed those parts, probably. Yeah, so I do get ammo drops, so it's not so bad. I don't have to be that conservative. Looks like we also get a lot of shops, which is kind of nice. Okay, recycle this. Get a thruster. Okay. So because I've got two of these two-way thrusters, in different manners. My turning is really good, and my to and from is really good. Shield. Oh. Okay. That's better. Oxygen is low. Ah. So I have to scan a planet to get oxygen. So there's a time limit that I need to be wary of. New launcher. It also looks like uh, having multiple types of weapons is actually kind of awkward. Aha. I will give credit though, Rocket Launcher seems like it might actually be pretty top. Super good for burning through those guys. Ow? What? He even hit me. I have no idea, actually. Well, we go back to the shop. So I've got more resources. This this actually feels pretty good. I'm 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 getting it. Uh, let's see. Beam, shotgun, shotgun, machine gun. I like my rapid laser. I like my rocket launcher decently, but I almost wonder if I'd actually be better off. Selling the rocket launcher. We also have the goo. Oh. Seems like the rocket launcher, but harder to use for the time being. How much do I got? If I get rid of the rocket launcher, we can get another machine gun. Or I could go for the beam. Buy the machine gun. I didn't realize it was that kind of machine gun. Okay, and the shield is less cool than I was expecting. So we need to have it on the, the nose bits. Alright, it's fine. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I want to see the more ridiculous parts. Alright. So, machine guns. Yep. That should be pretty good.
So it seems like ideally what you want to do is have two fairly functional Ow. These stink bugs are a problem. Crossbow. We got a lot of planets here. So we can go for the extra oxygen. Ow. Okay, so shields only project protect against projectiles. And those guys are suiciders. Crossbow's a neat idea. Don't think I'm really gonna overuse it, though. Okay, I'm gonna ignore that one section real quick, as we have a whole bunch of friend bugs. We're in need of a terrible slang. Oh, thank you, shields. The one other problem is, the bigger I get, the harder it's going to be for me to avoid anything. Damn it. Okay. Oh. Interesting, that actually resets the uh, scan. Doesn't hit, it doesn't heal me, though. It really does feel like a lot of these enemies might actually be... Ooh. Actual engine. Cool. Bang. Alright, now I'm actually, like, uncomfortably fast. Might, have, might be a bit of an issue. Okay. It's a little hard to see what enemies are doing half the time. Grab the crystal. Because, yeah, it's these, it's these stink bugs. Throw me for loops. Alright, grab that. Put these guys out. Another shield generator. I'm just going to plonk it there. Alright, and so last enemy is the one that spawns the warp point. Well, luckily we're doing fine. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's see, area 2-4. Oof, that's bad. Because, yeah, effectively I'm going to have to play super freaking scared mode. At least this level is small. Get another goo launcher. I think I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to get rid of a number of these. Let's try and conserve my ammo for at least a little while. Because otherwise, I'm gonna get wrecked. And that would be unfortunate. Wait for my 
Alright, lasers to come back. There we go. Okay, let's come back here. We've got we've got some time, but I'll get plenty more. Oh, beam. know if that actually helps me too much, but Okay, anything up here? Yes. My ship's got kind of a ridiculously long nose. Turning is actually surprisingly problematic. Okay. Wait, no, I haven't I haven't taken any damage yet. Right, there we go. I'm getting it down. Alright, so we get plenty of money. Let's probably just get out of here. We don't have any cargo, we don't have anything. Yeah, as long as I don't go careening into a whole bunch of bunch of damage. Yeah, the uh, broken ships repair you. Yep. That's arguably not worth it. Uh, let's see, artillery might be interesting. Alright. Get rid of a couple of these. go for more of a square build for a bit. Yeah, it's, it's by the body block. Put that there. Now, the other silly thing I could do is actually get a pair of crossbows. I'm gonna buy the artillery. Oh, I got it. That's a, that seems pretty fun. If only they didn't use the same ammo. Yeah, I thought it would heal more. I thought so too. Kind of expensive. All right, well, this seems like it's going to be a burning nightmare, but that is just how this works, I guess. Okay, first and foremost, putting my machine guns this far apart was actually a bit of a mistake. I actually need them front and, front and center, comparatively. Because, yeah, otherwise they're just hyper inaccurate. There we go. Oh, by... By scanning that planet, that actually, um... 
helped a fair bit. Ow, 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 ow. Freaking spin turtles. Get some ammo. I'm just going to do some precision fighting for a little while. It's very easy to just get burnt into crispy bits. And that's a bit of a problem. It's not so bad. They're predictable. Alright. I'm straight up not using these armor blocks. Maybe they're helping me, but I... Just am going to cast doubt in that general direction. That, oh, that's a that's my mind. Okay, oxygen is low. Gives us a good idea where the other enemies are. Fire bullets into this mess for a little while. Whoop. And like I said a little while ago, it's actually kind of hard to tell what's going on. Enemies tend to be very good at hiding in debris, too. Okay. Uh, let me see. I'm just going to kind of spit fire into this mess. We found... We found that. I'm gonna look around two seconds. Yeah, not seeing too much. Yeah, we gotta hurry a little bit, because otherwise we run out of oxygen, and that gets real bad. Let's see, does body blocks increase health and oxygen capacity? Yes. Okay, so we can be a little bit more aggro about picking planets up here. Ow, fire freaking. So easy to just drift into a damaging area and not be able to come out. Golden solar panel. This is energy regen. That's incredibly helpful, actually. Pick up some. There we go. Uh, we want to might want to pick up some energy-related items if we can. Okay, I still got one more planet after this. Ooh, one of these guys is uh, aggressive. the squid. There we go. Yeah, so those squid things can, uh, can teleport. That's a bit messy. Okay, so far so good. Just just play keep away for a little while. Yeah, I'm trying to get my ammo back. But it's uh it's tough. Wait. 
Okay. That's good. We get some oxygen. That's the last enemy. I don't see anything else. So let's go to the... Let's go to the store. I'm being a... Let's see. Is a broadsiding ship viable? I think so, yes. It'd be awkward to work with, though. Okay. So let's go here. Let's... Get rid of that. And I'm going to get rid of the artillery. I like the idea of it, but the actual execution is... It's okay. Then... We're going to go back to being the longest boy. big though. First my HP total, that's the one thing. Yeah, I don't need to be this big. Oh. It is what it is. Uh, okay, there's no more repairs. Well, my center of mass is all sorts of screwed up. We'll figure it out. Yeah, because I've got those solar panels, we can we can rely on laser weapons where we wouldn't normally where we would normally actually have some problems. Which is good. I got two levels left and everything sucks. Okay, that has a spare big engine for me. I will take. It means I am a zippy boy. I've always kind of been a zippy boy. Nope, wrong direction. Big planet. What? I must have just flown into all of its shots. I didn't even notice it there. Oh, is that it? I guess that was it. Well, that's a fun little roguelike. I don't know if I'm going to play much more. Like, I liked, I like this game. I think the equipment needs to have a greater variety. Yeah, contact damage. That must have been it. It needs a... <sighs> black enemies against a black background is a little tough, especially when I'm not paying full attention. But no, I just want to see, like, more wild variety on the weapons. Like, normally I'm kind of like, I don't really like procedurally generated modifiers on weapons, but I almost kind of wish this game had that. Or some of the laser weapons would have double shot, scatter fire, some, something like that. Either that or if there are every body block let you slot, like, a perk that you unlock or something. I, I'm just feeling like I'd be worried that every run would ultimately be the same. Or same-ish. I'm sure I'm sure they would actually there there's enough variety that it, it would have more variants than I'm giving it credit for um, but I'm not getting that like oh man one more run feeling from this uh, but it was fun and I love the visual style I'd love to see where they take this one and honestly this is a two-man project so for what it is right now not bad not bad in the slightest but I think for now I'm gonna le leave it here maybe we'll come back Maybe we won't. Uh, it kind of depends on how well this does on YouTube. I'm just always swamped with games, and I love new roguelikes. But I have a lot of new roguelikes to cover, too. So for now, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, let me know. Because I'm on the wall on that one. And with that, 
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.